Um, so the Orchard Audio DAC, I sold my PS Audio DAC, Direct Stream DAC Senior, to help finance my Clipshorn uh, Cornwall 4s, right? You guys know all that stuff. Do I miss that DAC? Fuck yeah. I mean, that thing kicked ass all over the goddamn place, right? And even when I had Leo's uh, DAC with, in my hands a couple of years ago, I honestly did not want to do a comparison between the two because I knew the PS Audio DAC was going to win hands down PS PCM files or DSD. Well, fast forward almost two years later, and now I need a fucking DAC because the DAC in my Onkyo AVR, AV preamp is a piece of shit. Uh, the DAC mods that I did on the Sony work, but you got to really crank the gain to make them sound nice. Um, and I and I needed a fuck I needed a DAC for the Blue Sound uh, Node 2 i because the DAC inside of it's a piece of shit. Everybody knows that. Um, anyway, so it was income tax return time, and I said, "Hmm, I need a DAC." And no fucking way am I gonna spend nine hundred or eight hundred dollars on an open box. What's that? Topping D ninety or a fucking SMSL, whatever the fuck it is, right? All these fucking Chi-Fi DACs, right? I remember SMSL from a few years ago, and their fucking boxes were fucking cheap-ass ugly. Now, of course, they've got a name out there. The boxes are prettier. The displays are prettier, whatever. I didn't want to buy into that shit or the Gishelli Labs or whatever because, you know. And then I thought, why don't I just buy one of Leo's Rev3 DAC boards and just shove it in a box with a fucking power supply and call it a day? And Leo is using a 20-year-old um, Burr Brown Now TI, um, I believe it's a 1794 DAC, and he's using it in a dual mono configuration uh, in each channel. And as much as I hate to admit it, it sounds pretty fucking good compared to what I remember from the PS Audio DAC or even my uh, Sony's external DAC. Basically, you, you guys have seen the reviews on YouTube. You know, people are going to say this, that, and the other thing. A lot of people have used it with the Raspberry Pi stuff. And I, I don't do that Raspberry Pi shit because I got the blue sound because Raspberry Pi will not fucking do Amazon HD, right? Because Amazon HD will not play nice with the third party vendors. So, whatever. Um, but I won't do Cobuzz anymore, even though it sounds the same as fucking Amazon. You saw that video last year. I don't do Rune because what the fuck's the point? Uh, I might, Otter Vanna, by the way, has gone back to giving you a lifetime um, license for their software for your library, which I'm probably going to invest in in the future. Anyway, so getting back to the DAC, what do I think of it? Compared to the PS Audio DAC, Leo's DAC is very smooth, right? It's not rolled off on the top end. Base extension is there. Mid-range is there. But is it the PS Audio Direct Stream DAC Senior? Hell no. That's forgettable price. Yeah, five thousand DAC, five thousand dollar DAC compared to a three hundred plus dollar DAC. No. But in lieu of me not having the PS Audio DAC anymore, I'll take Leo's three hundred dollar DAC board. Stick it, you know connect it to a power supply, call it a day, over any of that chi-fi shit that's out there, right? That's basically the DAC video. I mean, it's, you know, it, I, I've got the Rev3 board. You guys have seen the videos on people. Everybody is impressed with it. And Leo was smart. Where everyone else was at the mercy of the AKM, AKM uh uh, factory fire a couple of years back and now they're back in business again and they're you know rolling out the uh, the chips and newer versions and all this or the um, what the fuck's the other company um, EKM or some goddamn thing right again another Chinese uh, DAC manufacturer now they're probably it's probably good stuff but I'm not gonna spend that kind of money when I know in the end I'm going to go back to finding a used DirectStream DAC Senior and putting it back into my system. 
when that's going to happen. It could be at the end of the year. It could be next year, right? The prices are coming down on the used market for that stuff. In the meantime, I'm going to use Leo's DAC. I'm going to enjoy Leo's DAC. And I also found a little party trick with the Sony uh, UBP uh, X1000ES. Even though I've got it in SACD mode, right, and I've got it set to the auto position, it seems that through the coaxial output, when you play an SACD, it will downsample it to 176 for 24 bit uh, PCM and then feed it into any you know PCM DAC you like. Now, Leo's DAC <clears throat> also supports DSD, whereas if you're running USB and you're and you you know you can if you've got USB DSD files right, it'll do DSD over PCM. Leo's DAC again, it's a PCM DAC. It'll just take that PCM stream and boom, there you go. And that's a, that's another topic for another discussion about DSD over PCM versus quote unquote native DSD versus what Ted does with Ted Smith does with the PS Audio DAC, which is true, uh, direct stream digital um, upsampling or up converting or whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, that's my review. You know, I, I'd say. Fuck the Chinese DAX, get one of Leo's and call it a day. And he's also got the USB version of it where you just take your computer, take any old USB cable, boom, plug it in. You've got the DAC, you've got USB connectivity, you got analog outs, plug that into your amp, you got a volume control on the front, and away you go. My version, I bypass the volume control because, again, I'm feeding it into the BAT uh, preamp and I'm, I've got the Blue Sound node as my streamer instead of a Raspberry Pi type of thing. Um, that's about it, guys. Second martini in. One more drink before we call it a night. And all the best. Take care, guys. Cheers. Oi, fuck, I spilt it. God damn it.